Libra. Hi, my friends. I hope everyone has had a nice weekend and is having a nice weekend. Saturday night. Pretty late when I'm recording this. <sighs> this is what part of my day felt like. <sighs> a storm. I wanted to go live tonight. I had big plans and that just did not happen, unfortunately, but we're here. Um, I gathered up enough energy for this reading. My ears ringing. I really feel like our ancestors have a message for us. But first I wanna ask the tarot and my true, true crime cards. Who's watching us right now and why? And then the second half of the reading will be um, guidance and messages from our ancestors, Libra. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Let's go. We're going to start there. Justice. Let's go. Who's watching Libra and why? Spirit ancestors who's watching spirit right now and why who's watching spirit right now sorry who's watching libra right now and why nine of wands because they can't figure out how you got out of something how you're still up this is why they're watching Wow, you make non-believers believe in like the impossible because you have people, yeah, you have people, King of Swords at the bottom, this chess that play with dark powers, okay? They hold dark power over this world. And they put you into some type of maze, tests, okay, attacks even. But look, just like Raven here in the card, you're so protected. Look at the giant candlesticks, your giant guardians, as you made it out of the maze. They're like, how is Libra, how did she do it? Or how did he do it? How did they do it? How are they still up? They thought they had you all figured out. Those watching, they thought they had you all figured out. Boy... Were they wrong? King of Swords is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Masculine. Who's watching Libra and why, please? Who's watching Libra? The Five of Cups. With the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. It just started to rain. It just, can you guys hear that? started to rain pretty good I hope you can hear it that's crazy with this five of cups energy I feel like honestly there was a lot of wasted time and emotion and energy put into 
trying to block you, put you in this maze, get you all turned around, shaken up, confused. Making you, it appear that there's no way out or that you're losing it. And with this Five of Cups, I believe they're realizing like it was all wasted. Wasted energy, time, resources. I'm hearing precious resources. <laughs> with this owl, it's like you could see through. You saw through it. Can see through the dark. Like you guys aren't gonna take what's mine. This is my pinnacle. I've earned this. This is my bag, my business, my thing. My sweat, my tears. You know what I mean? They really thought they could block or stop something. And they're realizing it was all a waste of time. Eight of Swords. With that full moon. A lot of moon magic. With the temperance, look who's back out. Oh, look, a partnership. Two court cards together. The king of swords back again with the queen of wands. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, they've been working together for sure. Queen of Wands could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They do not necessarily have to be those sun signs. These could be the energies that they embody. This King of Swords thinks of himself very highly. Wow. I just heard King Tut for whatever reason. It's like they would think they're King Tut. <laughs> That's what Spirit said. And this Queen of Wands, works with the dark, she could definitely look, it's the same chick, look at her. Now look at the girl behind the bar. Both the redheads. There could be something about a feminine with red hair that's very significant to you guys. This person is watching you. If the red hair doesn't matter, This person, spirit cooks. I had never been channeled that before until 
I found out more stuff about it, but I can't mention names. But she's giving me this energy of this cult leader. I saw this card as I was shuffling the true crime deck. They could both be in this group, society, cult, whatever, for sure. The King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. But anyways, back to the spirit cooking. I was disgusted. I'd heard of it, but I, I didn't know. And what I found out. And see, look at that red substance inside the glass. I know some of you are like, oh, it's just red wine. Yeah, right. Not if it if you have anything to do with this cult leader chick. There's more than just wine in that red stuff. That's all we can say about that. Definitely a mo again, wow, a mockery. I just heard mockery. They were trying to make a mockery of you. They were trying to get you slip to slip or um, get trapped, tripped up. But again, you broke free of that and you remain protected. And on the move. You have a lot to do, Libra. Places to go. People to see. Goals to achieve. Watch your food and drink. Anytime you're in public, watch your food or drink and accept nothing from anyone. Nothing from no one, okay? Don't accept gum, candy, anything. I don't care if it's your best friend and they're like, oh, I know. I got this from Jimmy. It's cool. We're good. Nope. 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 There's so many poisonings. And I'm talking about ODs, okay? I've seen this so much in my life. 1333 on the clock. Wow. Oh my God. I could cry. I have chills. Okay. It just hit me like. Whew. Like, really? We're talking about that right as I see 1333? Anyways. These people are toxic. They create poison. Look at that slick smile on her face. Like, oh, you have no idea what's in this drink and what you're in store or what, you're, what our plans are for you. They thought. That's what they thought. But you escaped their trap. The first card out, you escaped the maze. I'm going to keep referring back to this because it's the strongest energy. It was the first card out. Yep, three of pentacles. They thought they could send some people in that appeared to be like they could be um, a co-worker, a friend, 
or even someone that is in the same business field as you, Libra. They were only sent in to do you harm, to hurt you. Or to spy, if that's not, you know, if it wasn't to do harm or hurt you, it, it was to spy and report back. I just heard how gullible is Libra. I can't stand these people. Yeah, these demons. The Hermit. I really like this card in this deck. It's the gentle giant. The one that holds the light. The one that keeps the light on. For those that, that might be less timid, you know, or not less timid, that for those that might be timid or scared, less sure of themselves, you hold the light for those people, Libra. The true light. Look at the lantern. This is a protector. The groundskeeper. Protector of the land. Protector of those in their care. That's you, Libra. And look what's at the bottom. The devil. You see the differences in these energies? Ooh, I have chills. Holding the flame. Wanting to cause pain. Have control over others. Make them hurt. While this energy only wants to keep. Their grounds and their people safe. just picked up the card at the top of the deck it was kind of floating on top there seven of swords you made it again you look the two figures are walking away and she has all the swords Another full moon. And these people are caked. Secret. Ooh, secret service. CIA. secret society that's mainly the energy I'm getting I 
They're like, she escaped. She did it. Or he did it. They did it again. You keep dodging these attacks at the full moon. The devil wants to have control for some of you over this partnership with the Two of Cups. Make sure before you take any type of vows that you know exactly what you are getting yourself into. And know in this day and age, it's even more complicated than it's ever been. And I'm talking about marriage here because that's what's happening in the Two of Cups card. There's people that have made contracts. They may want to drag you in with them. Libra, just be aware of this. This is all the energy of who's watching you and why. Yep. Double confirmation. Double confirmation. That's exactly what it is for some of you. For some of you, not everybody, okay? Please don't get paranoid, but just take your time. While this person in the devil that knows they've made a contract or they're ready to make some type of contract with the devil, they're aware of this deception. They're aware of this This society. They're aware that in order to make a deal here with the devil, they have to bring something along. They have to give something. You are not the sacrifice, Libra. That was just confirmation of somebody being deceitful. And it has something to do with contractual agreements. Okay? Contractual agreements with the devil. Whoo! Let's batter up, baby. Right after the Seven of Swords, look at how that Seven of Wands flew out with the Six of Pentacles at the bottom. You're real, Libra. I'm hearing J-Lo. I'm real. The way I walk, the way I talk. Yes, I'm real. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm real. Hey, <laughs> anyways, J-Lo, I'm real. That's what I'm hearing with this Six of Pentacles because she's down there giving treats to the rats. You treat everybody the same. That's what that says. And you're going to continue to rise to higher ranks, Libra. They may still continue to come for you. 
but it's nothing you can't handle. You and spirit together. They've got your back. Giant guardians. Batter up. You can, you and your spirit team, take them out one by one. Those that try to come against you, one by one. Because they know. Spirit knows who's the real deal and who's the foes. Right, Libra? And they know you're the real deal. You see her holding the scales? Feeding the needy. Not afraid to get dirty. Humble. Kind. And if not humble, down to earth. But you know when to be humble. You, There's no need to act humble in front of these a-holes. Right? That is not the time to act humble. The time to act humble is when you're around those less fortunate. in a less fortunate position than you that are, you know, requesting help and just need genuine compassion and care and love. Then you're humble. Then you're even more kind. Then you're even more living out of your heart chakra, Libra. They hate that. They hate that realness about you. Why you got to be so down to earth? Why why you got to be so real? You're so, you're like this gentle giant. It's like they want to F with you, but they can't. Because just one strike and it's like, phew, they're down from the gentle giant. He doesn't, he, he you don't come for the, for the gentle giant. If you do, it's, well, it's, you're out, out for the count. You're seeing butterflies and sparkly lights. <laughs> the gentleness is out the window. <laughs> the magician came out, Libra. I'm telling you. This magician is at the door of the halls of Amente. Corridor to the Akashic Records. The only thing is, he's welcoming you in. You've made it, Libra. You made it this far, okay? Well, you see how he's holding the door? We can only see so far. We don't know who could possibly be behind that door. Yeah, the Two of Swords. You know what I've never noticed? There's like a walking stick and a sword at the table with a chalice and a pentacle. Oh, duh. I've never noticed this. It's the four elements, the wand, 
the sword, the chalice, and the pentacle. Hmm. If you could choose, I'm getting a riddle from this magician. <laughs> Libra, he's saying, if you could choose any one of these four objects for the next stage of your journey, which would it be? Write it in the comments below. The wand, the sword, the chalice, or the pinnacle? What do you think? I'm thinking the pinnacle or the sword. would be the most beneficial <laughs> decision. There's going to be a decision here with this magician energy. What is the magician? What is the magician? Speed it up. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Oh my gosh. And both of these cards speak of sacrifice. With the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. Another court card. For whatever reason, these people thought you were going to make some type of naive sacrifice and for some they thought it would be easy to take you out in a similar fashion to whatever happened in your past life But they can't stop your passion. They can't stop your magic. Your ability to manifest. Your ability to take on the pain and transmute it. It's like you're taking the pain and the Ten of Wands and turning it into pentacles. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom for sure. There is also a Queen of Pentacles right now that is experiencing a tower that has been watching you. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords behind that. Recently experienced some type of ending with their counterpart, the King of Pentacles. Another couple that has been watching you, apparently, Libra. So they thought you were going to make some type of easy sacrifice. And again, boy, were they wrong. This could have to do with a wedding, marriage.
can't show you that card that came out. But it's about leading someone blindfolded to the edge of a cliff and making it look like something happened that did not uh, happen that way. If you can catch my drift a little there. It's like making it look like somebody jumped, but actually they were pushed. Okay? Let's be real. I hate, I hate this energy. It's just despicable. Despicable. These. <laughs> no me's. Home. Let's see about this home. What are they trying to tell us with the home? Government. Thief. In reverse. There was definitely somebody, a thief, watching some of your all's homes. But recently something went down in their lives and now they're in the reverse. They're not, um, they're not capable. They don't have the capabilities to watch you anymore, let alone try to take anything from you, Libra. card says something about media. What about the media? Wow, lies. <laughs> oh, who would have thunk it? The media lies. Social media now at the bottom i was talking about news cast media and now we have social media at the bottom there's somebody on your social media libra that's controlled and they're lying Anything else? It's a cover up for something far more sinister than maybe, you know, you're even imagining right now. This could have to do with a crossroad, you having to make a decision, or this person having to make a decision you or them are at a crossroads here. What's the advice? One more card on this side. What's the advice? Oh my gosh. I mean, how could spirit be any more blatant in your face? Run away. And we have portal at the bottom. That may mean there's going to be a specific portal opening, a window of time. 
to make your exit. That's crazy. I said, what should they do? And it said, run. Run away. Hey, the aliens have come out to play in this reading. Oh, they want us to be quiet. They want us to be quiet about the aliens. But guess what? I wanted to use my Martian Oracle at the end of this reading. Power has something to do with elite. Power ranking upper echelon. Powerful family. Well, imagine that aliens and possibly even royalty here in the royal family. What about aliens and power? I'm hearing other deck. Okay. What about aliens and power? Distraction and reptilians at the bottom. Well, there you go. That's so crazy. They're literally confer spirit is confirming those sea theories <laughs> that these royal families or these people in powers or you know the 13 families, whatever. They're very much reptilian. And they aid in distracting the masses. Mm. Revenge with propaganda, fake news. What about revenge and fake news? Now they're saying the other deck. What about revenge and fake news? Water. Trapped. God. What about water, revenge, God? Water, revenge, God. Natural disaster, secret. This could be a message for those areas in the world that are going where there's areas of conflict, okay? Deep, deep conflict. I'm actually getting a message from the Most High. You know how they said, well, you know, God said in the Bible that he would never flood the earth again. That's not going to be what happens at the end. Um, for those on the wrong side here of this conflict, we could say between regions. 
the most high is coming through and they're like, look, most high father, most high goddess mother, the sun, our ancestors, our loved ones, our guides, our angels, all of the most high, all included within God's team. It's raining down. It's going to rain down some type of revenge, justice. This is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. I always have my... Um, My uh, 18 and up for entertainment purposes only. My disclaimer is the word I was looking for in my bio, but I just had to throw that out there here. But, um, yep, that's what I got. Yeah, they're tired. I keep saying they. God is tired of the fake news. Of the propaganda. Literally. Wow. All right. We're going to get ancestor advice. And then we're going to get advice from our galactic family as well. This is going to be a long read. I should have just went live. But live streams take even more energy out of me. Even though I enjoy them very much, I didn't know I was going to have the energy to even do this reading this long. But we just kept going and going and getting all these messages. And it's like, I'm grateful. Yes, spirit. Please give this reading a thumbs up, Libra. I appreciate you guys. All right. Two more shuffles I'm hearing. Trust the elephant. Trust in the divine. Trust in spirit. I'm sorry, it's it's just not the time to trust in man that much. Unless you're 100% for sure, for sure. And I just don't think that's the truth. Because look, you're still contemplating. There's still some type of contemplation here. Advice from the ancestors. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. Intimacy. With the game of love at the bottom. Oh boy, this sounds like it's getting pretty spicy. Caliente. The present moment came out with obsession and greed. So your ancestors are warning you at this time. There's someone around you in the present moment who has an obsession with greed. They want to have, 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 and they want to make it no matter what. They could be a con connected to a collector of souls. Which, where the heck did that devil card go? Because... That's exactly what I'm getting here. And I only said that because look at everything on top of their hat. Here's their face. This is their hat. Look at all of this. It's like a collection. And I heard collection of souls. Limitation. Pause before moving forward. Yep. 
yeah, you're conflicted or someone's conflicted whether or not this is a true mystical divine union. I think that's you, Libra. Contemplating being intimate with this person. Contemplating coming together, cohesion. There's a lot of passion I can see. Okay, one more card advice. There's that passion, but I'm going to read this card. And we have the spring at the bottom. So the spring season could be of significance. 16. The oracle bears witness to the happy impetus of the force that once shared becomes fervor. Success is due to abandoning oneself to the power of love. The absence of resistance is the only thing required. Oh my gosh. I just picked up the deck and look at the cards that were left. Betraying. She's crying. And then we have the star card. You enter the healing. Once some of you may realize a truth. Or you'll see it with your own eyes. Feel it with your own gut. And you'll get right back to your normally scheduled program. Or you're going to start new goals and activities very soon. In regards to your own soul progression and elevation in this life. Let's read the spring. And then we're going to get one card from the Martian Oracle. A message from our galactic friends and we'll end this long almost hour live well not live hour long reading the image depicts what is deepest in us humans it evokes our essential nature the oracle is simple do not lose contact with that intimate inner reality because it is from there that you extract consciously or not, the life force that animates all your gestures and your whole life. The oracle is simple. Do not lose contact with that intimate inner reality of you. No matter what. And listen, if you're in a relationship or talking with someone and, th and none of this is resonating for you, this was not your message. But if you have felt these intuitive hits of something not being quite right, then this is your message. Just take heed. Take things slow. The one thing about people... Most people, especially when they're under a time limit where they need to make, you know, this contract happen, they're going to want to rush things along. It's going to be up to you to go at your pace, Libra, 
and slow it down. Because time reveals true character. Hold on. All right. I had to write that down <laughs> for the caption. Okay. Galactic family. Let's go. You know what? Let's get the chime. And uh, get the energy a little higher vibrational in here. Just a second. Just a second, Libra. We'll just do this one time just to have the divine. Make sure they're joining us for this reading. I'm going to count back from three to one. When I get to one, breathe in your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Here we go. Calling in the high vibrations. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. That is so calming, is it not? It's so nice. What galactic fam is joining us tonight? What galactic fam is joining Libra tonight? And what is your message for Libra? Wow. Okay, Libra. We got them in the last reading. We do have the Andromedans at the bottom, but we have the vegans. We got the vegans in the last read as well. All about solitude, independence, and peace. The Andromedans are about autonomy, which has a lot to do with being in solitude. Having power over your own self, free will, having that free will, and manifestation. Oh, I'm going to give this deck really good shuffling just to see. Maybe I just didn't shuffle enough. One more. Okay. Who's around Libra and why? Now we have the Venusians. Which we haven't received in a while. Romance, soulmates, empathy. Wow. Wow. With the total opposite energy at the bottom of the deck. The Anunnaki. Controlling. Drama. Conflict of interest. It's almost like love and hate. There's those that just want to... Live their life in peace and love. And then there are those that just seek out to control and dominate. What's Libra's advice? Galactic beings, galactic ones, the Andromedans. Let's read. Second time seeing this card. With the Arcturians at the bottom. Feeling safe, wisdom keepers, concern. 
you're not wrong in having concern for what's happening in regards to our world. Okay? You're not wrong to have, you know, a, a healthy amount of concern. You're not wrong. Now, let's read Andromedans. You have ascended masters working with you, Libra. Confirmation? My candle just popped as I said that. The Andromedans come from the Andromedan constellation, 2.5 million light years away, near the great square of Pegasus. Andromedans inhabit a massive area in space and are possibly the oldest race that visits our Milky Way galaxy. They are an abstract and dimensionally fluid species. Andromedans do not need or use spacecrafts. They usually use the nearby galactic gateway and Tares as a dimensional travel portal. And remember when we saw that portal card? Though Andromedans can holographically adopt any appearance, including elementals via shape-shifting, they typically appear like humanoids with varying shades of blue skin. Other ETs revere the Andromedans and say they are possibly the highest known ascended masters of these regions in the universe. Andromedans methodologies are often perceived as obscure yet brilliant. They are very elusive and selective about who they choose to communicate with. Andromedans are extremely concerned with humanity's future and with the ecological devastations happening on Earth. They would prefer all benevolent and malevo malevolent ETs were absent for a while, so humanity can master their own monumentous energetic shifts of ascension without persuasion or deception. They are 12th dimensional ascended masters and have fully awakened to the quantum capacities that far exceed humanity's still dormant, inbuilt DNA code of abilities. Andromedans understand the limited logic and awareness Earth humans are conditioned into. However, Humanity must incorporate and develop left-right hemisphere awareness and open the heart presence and observation if they desire to evolve. For without this, the tiny bandwidth of human spatial and light awareness presently in the average human is just not enough for ascension. Andromedans have their own high council regarding intergalactic and interstellar governance of multitudes of star systems and galaxies. This is all about being a free thinker, telepathy, swift, multidimensional perception, go-getter energy, unique, individual, quirky, eccentric, vibrant, creative, excitement, fluid gender, self-agency, autonomy, the left, logic, the right, creativity, hemisphere alignment, ascended consciousness, untapped potential, manifestation, and the crown chakra activation. Whoa! With the Arcturians,
They are wisdom keepers. This is about feeling safe, having concern, being coherent, prudent, emotional intelligence, deep, being a quiet achiever, trial and error, listening, sensible, soul searching, reserved, confidant, friend, mentor, insightful, rational, and conscientious. Those are your two cards as your advice and messages from our galactic family, Libra. You are a wisdom keeper. You do help others feel safe with your presence with these Arcturians. You're meant for manifestation. You do this. But you're also meant to have autonomy and free will. No need to feed into the fear, but there, it is healthy to have a certain amount of concern, especially in regards to this ongoing battle of the light and darkness in this world. And I'm going to end this reading here, Libra. I hope you enjoyed. I truly do. Thank you guys so much for your support. I will have a Libra Loyals members video coming up um, today, Sunday, later on. I'm recording this video late, late Saturday night. I'll probably put it up as a premiere in the morning. So I will see you guys then. Until next time. Stay balanced, stay blessed. Peace.